This video will demonstrate how to create a course for the Garmin Edge 705 GPS using BikeRouteToaster.com and the course creator that is available on that website. First we'll have to uh, go to BikeRouteToaster.com they have a link on that website for the course creator. We'll click on that and um, We'll have to have a route in mind of what we want to do. Today I'm going to be doing a route called the uh, Manor Meander. Uh, we'll zoom out on this map to a workable view. And I'm going to um, find the start location, which happens to be right here. I usually like to use the hybrid map view. So I'll click on that. And if I zoom in at this location, this is the uh, Manor Middle School, which is the start location. And usually we park in this area here, so I'm going to probably want to start somewhere near the parking area. Uh, a couple things to note about this um, about Bike Route Toaster and the course creator is because we're creating a course it's actually going to set up pacer data uh, if you want to use the pacer on the Garmin GPS so we're going to enter a speed that we believe that we will be riding at on the flats and there's also a climbing speed I have a value of 50 feet per minute in here that I'm trying not exactly sure if that's accurate or not that's something that has to be experimented with to, until you find a uh, a value that works for you. And for now, because we're starting in a parking area that does not have routing uh, built into it, I'm going to use auto routing turned off and not checked. I'm going to start by clicking at the point where I want the course to start, and it creates a start point. And then I'll continue to click and this interface is really nice um, just single left clicks extends the route creates new course points but if I click and drag it moves without creating a course point now if I click all the way out to this point I'm not now on Charlestown Road which happens to be the first road on the Q sheet. So I can turn the auto routing back on at this point. I want to actually zoom out so I can see more area. And I'm going to take a left on the Charlestown Road and then a left on the Donnerville Road, followed by another. It says left on the Charlestown Road. That should be a right on the Charlestown Road. But I know I know where the route means. Uh, it's just a mistake on this cue sheet. So I, I take the right onto Charlestown by clicking and dragging. Maybe zoom out even a little further. I can see that the next cue sheet location is a right onto Forey, followed by a left onto Habacker. The auto routing works so well on this system. I can actually I don't actually have to click uh, and make course points at every turn I can actually go ahead a little bit and I can see it's going to be right on Forey, left on Habecker, and then another right on Forey. So if I click all the way over here at that right on Forey, you can see that this interface automatically went the quickest direction between those points. And that is the route that I want to take. So uh, that did exactly what I wanted it to do and what I'll do is I'll continue on this course and next turn is on Roar Road um, a left on the Hershey Mill and left on the Central Manor followed by an immediate right on the Locust Grove so make that turn right there and I'm going to continue doing these points um, and then I'm, I'm going to pause the recording for a little bit until I actually finish the majority of this course and then I'll 
return to recording once I get that point finished. I've pretty much completed the uh, all of the routing um, of the course with the exception of the final um, the final few uh, uh, course points which I will need to turn the auto routing back off and come into the parking area by clicking and creating course points and I'll bring it right down to where I want the course to stop at this point I'm finished with the cue sheets so I'll minimize that and I want to switch to the summary view and I'm going to give the course a name the LBC Matter Meander I'm going to also want to save this course online and I'll click this checkbox to make it public save that Now I'm going to want to export this file as a TCX file, which is of course uh, the format that the Garmin 705 uses for its courses. But I'm going to save it to my hard drive. And I have a folder called Bike Route Toaster. And I'll give it the same file name. Click Save. I'm going to tell it to open that folder. One thing that's important, this course name, this is the name that the course will have within the Garmin GPS. Okay, now if I want to, oh, that file that I just saved, I want to, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to connect to my Garmin GPS, go into the Garmin folder, and then into the courses folder. I'm going to paste this file onto the Garmin GPS and that course should now be available within the GPS. I'll close this folder. The bike route toaster um, interface does create a nice course uh, profile elevation chart. It also has some detailed course information that's available. I can switch back to the map view, zoom out a little bit. And you'll be able to see a really good uh, map view of where the coast, where this course is located. You can zoom in at any detail level you, that you like. If I switch back to just a, a map view by itself, some people might find that useful as well. But it really is a, a very useful utility that I like very much. That's why I created this video. And I hope that this helps and that you enjoyed the content. Thank you.